What's up loves? It's your girl April. So today's video is going to be on a brush hair straightener that I received from a company called Ace VV. I think that's how you state their name. So they contacted me via email and of course this is an international website because it did come DHL and just basically by the email I can tell that it is um, a foreign website. I will be honest and say they got some really other cute useful things on here like eyeshadow palettes and lip gloss. However these same eyeshadow palettes you can basically purchase anywhere. You know what I'm saying? These are popular all over. eBay, Coastal Sense, iCade House, wherever you can get them. The mall, wherever, swap meets, flea markets, you can get these eyeshadow palettes that have like 180. So you really don't have to go all out and purchase them overseas. So anyway, they sent me this brush hair straightener and I had never ever seen anything like this nor have I heard about anything like this. And when I told my daughter about this, my oldest daughter, my eldest daughter, she was like, oh yeah, I heard about those things. They look like crap. And I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, first of all, it's pink and it has a cord so it does get hot. Um, and the control bar is on the side. So it's either power, the negative or the positive. And that's about it. So the one cool thing about it is it doesn't get scorching hot on the outside. So I said, you know what, I'm going to try this out. Now, mind you, like I said, it is from an international website. I ain't never heard of this. So the highest temperature that it actually goes to is 230 degrees Celsius. I decided the other day that I would give this a try because my daughter was like, Mommy, that's only going to work on some white girl hair. I said, well, we're going to give it a try, and it's just going to be a review, an honest review. It is how it is. So the wig that I have on, of course, is 100% human hair. And this is the wig that I made from Best Lace Weaving Hair, which is their Kinky Straight. Now, my hair, I actually had the wig on. I was, you know, in a bubble bath, and I had it up in a bun, but it still did get wet, okay? And I was being sexy, you know, with my man. So it got a little tangled and I just left it for days and I said, I'm going to use this to try it out. Well, this seemed to take a little bit longer than I wanted it to. So I just said, the hell with the wig. I'm going to just put something else on. So last night I decided I'm going to wash this wig and let it air dry straight because that's the best way to straighten it. So I don't have to stand there and flat iron it. And that's what I did. So it's in its natural state, kinky, straight hair which I love so I said I'm going to do this on camera for the review and we're gonna see how it comes out so like I said I didn't do anything different to this hair I just washed it conditioned it and let it air dry okay I didn't flat iron it prior you can see that it's got its crimps in it and it's just as kinky as it wants to be might be a little tangled in the nape area and all because I did put it on a little damp because I really wanted to wear the wig but other than that, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. So, yeah. The email was really nice for them. They said they was my biggest fan. They adore me. I'm attractive. All of this great stuff. Yeah, thanks. I thought we were going on a date. You know what I'm saying? I really thought we was going on a date from the email. Okay? So, anyway. Yeah. So, I already know that's probably like a generated email to just any other YouTuber. So, you know, I was a letdown. So, let's go ahead and try this out. So, I'm going to take this amount of hair, which is already been brushed and detangled. But it has these little red tips, and if you touch these, they are kind of hot. Not these on the outside, but I'm assuming the ones on the inner side. So, I'm going to just take this and see. Okay, you guys, so I have the temperature up to 230 degrees Celsius, which is 450 degrees here. And honestly, I will tell you that the temperature does not really feel like 450 degrees. Um, I felt 450 degrees on a flat iron, and it is way hotter than this. This takes a lot of pass-throughs, like five to six tries. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try to wrap the hair around it just so it can become a little straighter. It doesn't seem to straighten it out as I would expect it. So as you've seen, I took a smaller piece of hair to try to straighten it. And it got a little straight, but not as straight as it would have if I used a flat iron. 
So to me, honestly, I'm really not like a huge fan of this brush straightener. It probably will work on softer hair, meaning silky straight hair textures. And this is probably what this is geared to and not as thick hair as we have here. Okay, so I'm not really going to waste too much time sitting here um, brush ironing the hair. I will tell you this. This is really not for those that have thicker coarse hair. This brush iron, straightening iron, straightening brush is not for us that have coarser coarse hair. It's not going to work. Okay, it just ain't gonna work. It just ain't gonna. So as you see, and I had to take several strokes, several, several strokes through this hair just to get it to somewhat straighten it. And it's really not straight like that. It just took out some of the crimps, okay? It really didn't, really didn't do much at all because it was like five, six passes through. And then I had to hold the hair tight and just keep going through. So honestly, I'm going to just tell you guys, please save your money because if you don't have silky straight hair, this probably ain't working for you. I'm not really sure why they asked me to do the video. Maybe because I had on a silky straight wig. And that's probably what this would work fabulous in. I'm going to try this out on one of my straight wigs. But as far as those who have kinky natural hair african-american hair like this wig here or anything under this wig that's not so coarse it's really not going to work for you i'm not saying fry your goddamn hair but let's just be honest this is not for the african-americans it's a really great invention however to me it's kind of like a spin-off of the in styler this was a great concept however it's not made for every hair texture and that's just my basic opinion it's a great invention but i think it needed to be th thought out a little bit more um, it just turned off by itself and shit Oh, did I say that? This is probably a really, really easy concept to straighten your hair. Just to brush it and for it to come out straight, that's a great concept. However, the temperature and j just certain things about it is not going to work for anyone with coarse hair. Now, I could have flat ironed this hair with one pass through and with one of my good flat irons and it would have been super straight. Like, it would have been straight. Um, but it takes too much time and effort and as you can see it really really didn't do too much to the hair It's still just as poofy and thick and wild as it is. So like I said, um I appreciate doing the reviews, but all in all if um, I was to purchase the product I would definitely send it back. I would want my freaking money back So this is not for the happily nappy and it's not for those who are all natural or don't have silky straight hair as is. So, for those of you who have been wondering about the brush straightener, I'm gonna pass on it because it's just not my, my go-to. So, on that note, I'll still post their information below. Um, as well, um, you can check out their website. There probably is something that you may like and I wish that dog would shut up. But as always, stay diva and divalicious and I'll see you girls on my next video.